course, is the same man accused of violently kidnapping a Philadelphia woman and taking her here to Maryland. Good evening, everyone. I'm Donna Hamilton. And I'm Stan Stovall. He now sits in a Southern Virginia jail to answer to accusations of abducting and raping a 16 year old girl. Police say he committed those crimes last month. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us in the studio with more. Lowell? And a lot to cover here. According to officials with the Riverside Regional Jail in Prince George, Virginia, Delvin Barnes was put on suicide watch shortly after arriving at that jail from Baltimore County this morning. He was charged with last month's abduction of a 16 year old Richmond girl who narrowly escaped with her life. Tonight, that girl's mother spoke exclusively with our sister station in Richmond. And I just want to kill him. Just want to kill him. A mother on edge after learning what 37 year old Delvin Barnes is accused of doing to her 16 year old daughter. According to court documents, back in the beginning of October, Barnes hit the girl in the back of a head with a shovel and stuffed her in the trunk of his car. The documents go on to say that he raped her, then poured bleach and gasoline on her and began digging her grave. Police also add that he showed her photos of what he claimed were other victims. When he went to go look for a light or something, that he told her that he was going to kill her. She was going to die. Luckily, police say she was able to distract Barnes and made a two mile run to safety. After all that beating, raping, choking, all that, she got away. Court documents reveal that Barnes had a pretty violent past. He was released from prison a year ago after serving eight years for assaulting his estranged wife and her family in Philadelphia. Barnes was repeatedly denied parole because the board felt that he lacked remorse and posed a threat. Recently, police in Virginia were able to get Barnes after he made national news for kidnapping 22 year old Carlicia Freeland Gaither in Philadelphia. A surveillance camera caught the act and she was ultimately rescued in Jessup. Barnes did make a stop in Harford County. Barnes was found thanks to a GPS device in his car put there by the dealership where he purchased it as a way for them to find it in case it needed to be repoed. According to court documents, Barnes confessed to the crime and said that he did not know the victim. Now, Barnes is scheduled to appear in a Charles City County, Virginia court on Wednesday. He is facing a number of charges, including attempted murder, sexual assault, kidnapping, and assault. Live in the studio, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News. All right, Lowell, thank you.